Help me out, because love it or hate it, you know you want to say it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time to drop the hammer. Oh, wheels up already for Mitchell Moles down in turn number one and two, three wide, back in the field, not a big surprise out, turn number two, still three wide down the back straightaway. Dason Persley trying to fight his way out of that little pack up front, it's going to be Jacob Denny across for lap number one. Moles shuffle back into second on the field, Reimer working to the outside of McDermott, battles hard in the 25K car. Side by side, down into turn number three. McDermott slight advantage onto the front straightaway. Ryder shuffled back into fourth on the field. As back behind, Jade Avenician works the high line to the outside of Mezrell. Picks him off, gets another one down the back straightaway. She gets around McIntosh. Now moves to the inside of Andriotti. Andriotti, the number 25. Whole bunch of company coming out of that 71 car. That back in the mid-pack. Meanwhile, Bezerol in a face-off with the 0-8 of McIntosh. McIntosh, who has won here at least on two occasions. And here comes Justin Grant. Out of nowhere, Justin Grant and the Energy Drink number two cars come to life. He's picked off Bezerol, and now he's going to work on the 25K of Taylor Reimer. That battle taking place back in the field for P6. As he races up for the number 18 starting spot. He's got to drive down low, occupying our attention. Meanwhile, Bezerol is trying to use him as a pick. Look out, crossover move, that's almost contact. Close quarters racing. Down into the corner, and that's a tremendous tussle between now four cars as Taylor Reimer comes back to life. They'll pick up a spot. Reimer goes to work on the number 40 car, picks off McDermott, goes to fourth on the field. McDermott trying to come back at her down on the inside. He'll throw a slider out across the racetrack. Reimer turns it back down low. Wiedemann's right there as well in the number 81. Meanwhile, up front, Denny across, two laps to go. This time by for the 25. Heads down the back straightaway. Personally, he's got nothing for him. 7X car, unfortunately, can't get a grip on the top two as well. As the white flag comes out, and it's a final trip around for Jacob Denny. Hammers the King chassis down into turn number one and two. The in pink Toyota singing a merry tune. He's going to lead wire to wire on this one. In the John Hank Championship, Jacob Denny picks up the win. There he is, race fans. Make some noise for him. Jacob Denny picking up the win. We'll send it down with Drake York. Thanks a lot, Chet. Jacob Denny picks up his second career win with the NOS Energy Drink USAC National Midgets. His other win coming at the Lincoln Park Speedway during Indiana Midget Week last year. First win for Tom Malloy as a car owner since the 2021 Turkey Night Grand Prix. And Jacob putting on a master class to do it, no less. He'll get decorated by USAC's Keegan Flat, and we'll bring him around for a word with your winner of the John Hink Championship aboard the Trent Shoring number 25. Of course, Jacob, so much success in other USAC divisions. Here he is, race fans. Jacob Denny, your winner in the John Hink Championship. Jacob, coming out here with a new team in 2023. You started with this team at the end of last year, but to come out third race of the season with the National Series and pick up a win, how huge is that for you and the team morale? It's huge. Um, I felt like I kind of threw, threw one away here two weeks ago, and then I just drove not like myself Friday night. And uh, Jerome told me before I got in, it makes the car ride better on the way home if you win. So uh, I was giving her all she had. I about turned it over a couple of times, but... Uh, that probably looks way cooler for you guys sitting up in the stands. Give you some, give you some close calls there. And uh, lap traffic got really tough, but uh, I just tried to hold my line and not do anything dumb, and it ended up working out. So uh, we got a couple of cautions at a great time because I was really stuck in lap traffic. So everything just seemed to go away, away tonight. You were married to the top all race long, and part of the hard part about being out front is you don't know what people are doing behind you. Did you have that thought run through your head a couple times during the course of that race? Yeah, I kept looking up at Jerome under caution, and he was saying, you're good, just keep doing what you're doing, and uh, it ended up working. I'm not usually known for running the top, but I guess I've kind of grown up over the last couple of months, and uh, that's all I've been running the last couple of races. So uh, this car goes around great. I can't thank Jerome, uh, Sayo, Tom Malloy. He's probably sitting back home watching. Uh, God, my... My mom, my dad, and my sister, and everybody just helped me get here, you know. It's not just about everybody right now, but everybody who gets you here. Jacob Denny, your winner of the John Hink Championship, his second career win.